The links for the uh, Gab TV Odyssey and uh, Bitchy. Okay, this isn't exactly a Pyrrhic victory because I'm not sure who who's winning, except maybe the audience is, is winning. Because I just want to see all these people burned. They're all they all seem equally horrible to me. Maybe if you are very very naive and you get into Hollywood, the thing is, it's not like you would have to be. You would have to be painfully. Uh, there's, I don't think there's anyone on earth who, at this point, with social media and the access to news, who is going to Hollywood and not understanding the like Epstein Weinstein type of situation. I, I, I don't. I just don't. I don't think that level of naivety exists. Anyway, so um, Rogan and uh, and James Franco uh, are accused of some things. And the thing is, just because like they're people you loathe, doesn't mean they're not entitled to due process, right? Like if you believe in those principles of due process and no lynch mobs and witch trials, uh, you know, it's like the things with accusations and making them a couple of years later. It's like dude, you got to just come out. You got to, you know, like. Not statute of frauds. What am I talking about? Um, timeliness. You got to come out while the memory is fresh in everyone's mind. And, and the thing about coming forward and just saying something like, "Oh, hey, Seth Rogen and Franco and Epstein and Weinstein," you got to say something like, "Oh, hey, these guys are not the coolest dudes to work with." It will encourage other people to come forth. And yeah, if you're one person like who's that the uh, the black guy who played cyborg. Uh, is who's coming forward and talking about the industry. It's like, yeah, you're going to get blacklisted. You're going to be screwed. But if you get a dozen people coming forward um, and you get receipts, they're not going to, they're not going to blacklist everybody. So at some point you just got to find your balls and be like, yeah, you know, do I like, do I stay silent and keep in Hollywood or do I come forward and like try to prevent future victims of this type of thing? Anyway, so she sounds a little bit like a, a nut job, but um, Seth Rogen and James Franco also sound like nut jobs. And the thing is, when it's equal cases of equal nut jobs, they're actually being accused of bad stuff, and she's just being accused of being kind of an idiot, whatever. So, uh, Charlene, Charlene Yee, who voices some stupid stuff you never heard of, um, was in some movies that were like C C grade movies. Accuse Rogen, Seth Rogen, of enabling James Franco to. Prey on... Ooh, that got dark in a hurry. Um, she also played... Blah, blah, blah. Claimed an Instagram post. The producers on that film attempted to bribe her <clears throat> to stay on the project when she attempted to quit after she heard reports claiming Franco was a uh, bad person. Uh, yeah, Hollywood is so... Um, like you think, oh, just go to the police, just call the FBI. That's not how Hollywood works. You're like, oh, here's some money, be quiet. <laughs> what the? F oh yeah, I've got tapes of Weinstein um, blackmailing women for sex. Oh well, like yes, you could go to the FBI, or you could just be quiet and keep working in Hollywood. Oh okay, I guess I'll just be quiet and keep working in Hollywood. Um, she, she tried to break a legal contract, and he's, I don't know if English is a second language, but she writes really weirdly. And quit disaster artist, because James Franco is a alleged bad person. They tried to bribe me with a bigger acting role, which actually does sound very, very believable. <laughs> I cried, and I to say, it's better when the stripper is crying. I cried and told them that that was the exact opposite of what I wanted, that I didn't feel safe working with a effing alleged bad person. Well, I don't. Did you quit the project? Call your call your uh, your uh, representative and just like they'll get you out of it because the the bad publicity is is more dangerous than replacing an actress. Um, like yeah, you may not work in Hollywood, but things do. You, like why do you want to work in Hollywood? I understand it's a ton of money if you're at the top, but other than that, there's like a lot of other things you could do, especially now with social media. And it's it's not a case of like there's a few bad apples in Hollywood. Seth Rogen, Epstein, Weinstein, uh, Franco, all these. There's a lot of Kevin Spacey. There's a lot of bad apples in Hollywood where it's, it's like you're looking for good apples and there's just not enough. I mean, there's got to be a way to, I don't know, make our own Hollywood. Uh, she then added, they minimized and said Franco being a predator was so last year that he changed when I literally heard of him abusing new women that week. Okay, again, due process. Like, 
you know, people say things for a lot of different reasons, and when there's smoke, there's actually not always fire. But, you know, everybody's got these uh, high-definition cell phones now. Like, you could turn on a voice recorder in your pocket, and you can record, you know, you can turn allegations of criminal conduct uh, into receipts with a little bit of technology. So... You got to, you know, you got to, you got to at least try to show receipts to prevent future harm. Now, this is where it gets weird, and I'm glad that I've stalled five minutes into the video. Um, the actress would also lament white men like Seth Rogen and James Franco. How do I carefully say this? Uh, people only watch on average about five minutes of the 10 minute video, so I, I guess I'm cool. Like, if you're, you're in, um, they don't, I don't think they identify as white. Um, which is weird because, like, white people get a lot of crap from people who don't identify as white, but they're just lumped in as white. So it's a little bit weird. And that's probably as far as I can go for YouTube because YouTube is just so freaking lame. Odyssey, oh my gosh, the support on Odyssey and BitChute has been great. Um, uh, and if you're on Odyssey and BitChute, drop, you can drop your links to your channel on my channel. I'm totally okay with that. Knock yourself out, guys. White men like Seth Rogen and James Franco, who, again, they both don't identify as white. Uh, hold on a sec. Let's get a... F it seems like every movie he's been in, he's just... And I, I thought he was great. He's great in films. Like, Seth Rogen is not enjoyable. He's just too smarmy. But this um, this guy was good. He was fine. I mean, he kind of plays himself in every role, but, you know. So I'm not sure, like, what their ethnicity has to do with it, um saying it's not their responsibility in holding Franco accountable or in holding Seth Rogen and the enablers accountable. Um, how does their, like, ethnicity play a role? Uh, um, Bill Cosby is not, is black. Um, there's a lot of people in Hollywood who do this kind of stuff who are not white or identify as white or clearly not. So I'm like, I'm not sure why you're, you're throwing that in there. It feels like you're throwing that in there because it's 20... It's current year. It's current year. And in current year, you know that there is uh, ground to be gained. Um, social media, um, you know, there's no such thing as bad publicity. So you're, you're painting yourself as a victim here. You're kind of doing like a, my exercise, you did this a couple of years ago to get um, roles in comics, um, which uh, they couldn't capitalize on because they don't have, they're not, they're just, uh, they do have talent, Mags <laughs> has talent, but uh, is so, like, grinding this axe of trans, 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 trans. Anyway, so it feels like if you start talking about, you know, these evil white dudes, like Seth Rogen, <laughs> white guys like uh, Weinstein, right? Um, you're getting traction on social media, so you're getting a bigger social media presence, which means you can advertise uh, yourself as an actress in Hollywood. And, you know, you always think of actors and actresses like, oh, you know, they get on trouble on social media. Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook just get off social media. But it's like, it's free advertising for them. If they can get a following, they can translate, they can segue that into roles, which segues into, um, you know, tons of money. So that's like literally, like what was Kim Kardashian? This was years ago, decades ago. But it's like, she is a billionaire now because of, Effectively, of just being a good looking girl who had a sex tape out and who, like, was what uh, the media needed at that certain time because they were kind of replacing Paris Hilton with um, a browner version of Paris Hilton, essentially. Um, well, my point is that she knows this word is kind of a trigger for people to just to flock to her, but there's something about her writing, it's like. It's like two things are going on at the same time, like Seth Rogen, Franco, and like the whole Hollywood, just vermin. It, yeah, there's a lot of just these degenerates in Hollywood, but it also feels like simultaneously, it feels like there's two bad sides here. Like she's just trying to get attention by just blaming, blaming white people. Uh, the women and children who have PTSD from Franco are the future targets of abuse. White men perform infantilism when it comes to sacrificing their white supremacy and patriarchy because they actually don't give an F. Okay. Uh, again, I'm not... Like, they don't identify as white. So I'm not quite sure where you're going with that. Or why... I mean, I know why you're you're making an issue of it because you know it's a, it's just a hot word. And it's just... But you're, you're overplaying your hand here. And the caption of the post... 
He specifically accused Rogan. She wrote, Seth Rogan was one of the producers on this film. He definitely knows about the bribe and why I quit. Seth also did a sketch on SNL with Franco enabling Franco preying on children right after Franco was caught. Uh, again, you know, uh, due process. And claim Franco's long history of preying on children, allegedly. This is on top of corrupt laws that protect predators made by violent white men. Like Epstein and Weinstein. Those are the, the violent... Well, I mean... Like, you know where I'm going with this. This is just nonsense. Um, probably too spicy for YouTube. I don't know. Go to Odyssey. Go to BitChute. Go to Gap TV. Hopefully they'll uh, have that live streaming up. But Odyssey has live stream right now. And uh, anyway, click the links, guys. I will see you on the next episode.